Hey guys, this is Steel K Gaming here, and I am back with another scripting tutorial. And today I am going to be teaching you about how to put an outline on just any block in general. Now, this tutorial is going to be uh, very brief, and it's going to be um, very simple too. So um, that's just something to keep in mind. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. So um, what you're going to do is um, just uh, get the part that you want this uh, outline to kind of be in. Uh, I'm just going, for a, uh, tutorial purposes, I'm just going to use this part right here. And what you're going to do is just right click on the part in this uh, explorer over here, then click insert object, and then kind of scroll down to selection box. This is a thing that's going to be our outline right here. Now, you actually might notice that, hey, why isn't it on there? And that's because there's something called an Adorni right here. And the Adorni is basically, um, uh, how should I say this? The selection box, the thing that the selection blo box is highlighting. So if you click on Adorni, you'll see this kind of uh, logo, kind of Lego brick kind of thingy. And that means that the next thing you click, that's going to set this value. This is also known as an object value, just so you know. So, for, because I want this part to have an outline, I'm going to click on part in the workspace. And there you go. You can see that the selection box is there. Now I'm going to just quickly run through um, what these properties are, and also how to get this from a script. So first of all, this color thread here is going to be this border outline. So it's this uh, blue outline you see right here. So this is normally set to a type of blue, but maybe you want to change it to black. So you can just go like that and boom. The next thing is the line thickness. This is how thick this uh, outline will be. So I'm just going to set it to 0 0.05. So it's a little bit smaller, you know, all that good stuff. The next one is surface color 3. Now, if you want this to work, you'll have to set surface transparency to 0, you know, so like that. But I won't do it. I won't uh, set this for now because, well, it's an outline. The next thing is transparency, which is pretty self-explanatory, you know. So that's how transparent this is. You can see right there. And yeah, that's actually pretty much it. Now, uh, one more thing to actually note is that you can actually set this Adorni to any other part from, from this area. So you can actually set it to base plate right now, too. You can see there's an outline right there. You might have to have this video on a higher quality for you, for you to see that, but yeah. So you can actually set this Adorni to anything. That's kind of visible, I guess. Anyways, yeah. Now, um, one more thing to note is that when you actually clone this, you can see... Oh, well, now it doesn't. Never mind. So, just a uh, note that when you clone it, the uh, Adorni will also follow, so do not worry about that. Now, the last thing um, is that maybe in a script, you want to change the Adorni. So, I'm going to quickly put a script in here and show you how to do that. So, it, you can probably guess what you have to do, but you'll have to reference the selection box. Selection box. So I go to use script up here the selection box because it's going to uh, have better clarity with the scripts and the script runner in general. So you're going to reference that. Now you're going to do selection box dot adorning. So pretty self-explanatory. You're referencing the script, then you're referencing the parent, then go to the selection box, and then referencing it's adorning. Now because this is an object value, you'll actually have to reference the thing you're going to set this adorning to. So I can just go to do game dot workspace dot base plate. Just just cause. And this script is going to make this selection box go to the base plate. Because we set its object value. And if we run the script, you can see that this selection box has transferred from this block to the base plate from that script. <laughs> So that's really all I actually have to um, talk about for this video. I hope this helps you in some way. Um, also, remember to stay safe because, you know, COVID-19 and stuff. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video.
Bye.